I'd like to call this meeting of the Public Works Committee to order. This is Tuesday, October the 2nd. Commissioner Turner, would you like to say a prayer for us? Absolutely. Let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you again for another wonderful day, Lord, and we thank you uh, for all the blessings that you've given each one of us. I ask that you be with uh, those committee members here tonight, Lord, and those that are watching at home. Uh, thank you for everything that you've given each one of us and, uh, and the decisions and discussions we have tonight, Lord. I ask that we do that with the right spirit, a uh, clean mind, and uh, that we make the right decisions for us. I believe we've all received a copy of the minutes from last month. Do I hear, hear a, a motion regarding this? Motion to approve. Second. Do we have a motion and a second? Is there any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. First up today we have the landfill report. Mr. Nolan. Good evening. How are you? Good See on the landfill report, the uh, activity slowed down a little bit this past month and the month before. We had a large project that was coming in, they completed that, and most all the, the storm damage, the roofing damage has been completed. So we took in a little over half the money that we did the year or the month before. But other than that, we're still doing pretty good. And then on the convenience center side, uh, trash is running a little bit slower than it was this time last year. Uh, a lot of it is weather related. If it rains and that type of stuff, it slows down a little bit. Sundays are still busy. Uh, we're still still trucking right along with that. And some announcements would be uh, Recycle Rutherford is working on their phone boot drive. Uh, what that is is for all the teachers. Yeah. They can have their students collect phone books, put them in one of the bins. They turn in uh, how many phone books they collected per class. For every 10 books, they get a chance for a prize, and it's a $200 prize per classroom. They'll give out, I think it's 10 of those. Uh, so the, mm -hmm. all the schools have a, a paper bin there that they can put their, recycle, or their phone books in. We've got one at Haley Road, there's one at the town of Smyrna. Uh, so there's multiple locations for them to do that. It's a good thing to help the teachers in their classrooms. Uh, hopefully they'll participate really well with that. Last year we collected a little over six and a half pounds. Uh, the way we're doing it this year, we're letting them put the phone books in the containers there at school. It would be harder for us to know that volume, but uh, we'll, we'll know the number. The phone books are a little smaller. They weigh about a pound and a half this time. And then uh, October the 20th uh, at Haley Road from 8 until 11, we'll have an oil-based only paint collection. Please do not bring your latex paint. We'll send you back home with it. Uh, there's multiple publications out there on how to dry that. Uh, nobody takes it anymore, so everybody needs to dry that. So we'll be taking the paint from 8 to 11 on the, October the 20th, and then November the 3rd at the city of Murfreesboro Mulch Facility on Florence Road, we'll be having our household hazardous waste collection. And that's from 8 until noon. Uh, those collections no longer accept electronics or paint, and that's the reason we're doing both of those at Haley Road. I do have one announcement. Uh, Mr. Nolan and I are working on a day where we can possibly go out and visit the landfill and just do a quick tour. Uh, the issue is the landfill is not opening during the afternoon hour, so uh, we'll have to go either on a Saturday and visit Middle Point or during the day through uh, the week, and just whoever can go can go. So um, when we get a date set for that, we'll let you know if we're looking for that. Any other questions? Motion to approve. The report is presented. Motion and second. Second. We have a motion and a second. Is there any other questions or discussion? Okay. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you very much. Thank you. Aye. Okay. Next we have highway department. Commissioner Jarnigan, are you? He's working the outside. Okay. <laughs> right, there. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, Commissioner Jarnigan, are you yeah. presenting the highway? Well, you got your report up. Are you, Madam Chairman? Okay. The only so. thing he had was. Uh, 25 mile hour speed limit on uh, Lloyd Road, Cold, and uh, Weeks Road, 40 mile an hour. I 
I feel like this is all we have from Highway that's Department, correct? That's all the Highway had this morning. Okay. Do we have um, any questions or motion regarding this? Motion to approve. Second. Any other questions, comments? Yeah, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Okay, planning. subdivision report You'll notice on the third page I'm sorry second no it was the third page the first one. Uh, you'll notice that the total available lots for this month or actually last month when the report was generated for, from that data 1142 available lots that's recorded and on the ground ready for permits uh, you can see that's down about 260 lots from this time last year so again we are still got quite a few out there but the trend is still going It's really tricky. <laughs> yeah, the funny thing is, I actually worked with one of these about a month or so ago to be familiar, familiarize myself with it a little better and see how well that worked out for us. <laughs> okay. All right, uh, we have two rezoning cases for your consideration coming up this month. Uh, the first of those is a piece of property located along West Jefferson Pike uh, at the uh, State Route 840 interchange. Uh, the applicant's proposing to rezone the land for potential industrial uses. They don't have any specific projects identified at this time, so the concept plan that you have in your agenda materials really is just that. It's just the general area to be rezoned. And I wouldn't even go so far as say it's a conceptual plan because there's really nothing on it to show any possible buildings or anything like that. Uh, primary uses would likely be manufacturing, transportation, and warehousing with possibility of sol some small convenience commercial uses as well. Uh, the applicant did state that there would be no scrap operations, resource production, or extractions, or landfills, or anything of that effect. Uh, the area is served by Smyrna Utilities. Uh, we contacted Smyrna's utility department. They do have a 12-inch water line that runs down West Jefferson Pike to the property uh, from the bridge at Stones River to the property. Beyond that, it narrows down to a 6-inch line. However, when the road is widened, uh, Jefferson Pike is scheduled to be widened, uh, they are proposing to upgrade that to a 24-inch line along with that widening project. Uh, there have been discussions about potentially extending the sewer out that way as well. Uh, the applicant has indicated that uh, in the future they may desire the sewer extension as opposed to using the soils on the property. If the sewer were extended at that point and they were to access it, it would just be annexed into the uh, town of Smyrna's uh, town limits. There is, uh, as I stated just a, a moment ago, plans to widen this road. It's actually on the uh, Nashville area MPO's transportation improvement program for fiscal years 2011 through 15. Funds for right of way uh, have been scheduled for next fiscal year 2013. So that project is moving forward. So there's a lot of things going on out there. And quite frankly, I wouldn't think that you'd see a lot of development on this property until some of those improvements are made. So that's just some of the background with that. Uh, the property itself is vacant. Uh, a portion of the property, if you look on the map that's on the agenda materials, you'll see there's a, a, a segment of the property. It's on the other side of 840. It's actually part of the property, but it's not included in the rezoning request. And there's a little cutout in the middle of the property there, which I believe is just a cemetery, which again is not part of the request. So that's particulars behind that particular application. And I will move on to the next application here. I just have one other application. Go to a checkerboard. Okay. Yes, it's, it's fine now. It's, you know, it worked so well the last time I was here. 
the second application we have is a piece of property located along Barthel Crescent Road. Uh, it's the site, and some of you may be familiar with it, the uh, Womack's, old Womack Stables property. Uh, the, pro the stables have operated on this property for years. Uh, the applicant's proposing to continue using the existing horse stables, and actually they're already in the process of making a lot of improvements to the lot, uh, kind of renovating what's out there, improving some things, and also constructing a horse arena. They're also wanting to have a small commercial portion of the property to be used for a small showroom for a sale of a special agricultural paint that they sell. They don't manufacture it there or anything. It's just simply they want to have it there uh, in the event that uh, people see what they're doing on the property. They actually use it on the property uh, as kind of like a, dis as a, as a display area, if you will, for the paint. That's really what kind of brought this application to the forefront. Everything taken together, we felt this was a good use for the agricultural services zone. So really, most of the application that what we're dealing with here doesn't so much deal with what's already out there, the existing buildings, because all that's agriculturally related and can be done as, as by right under our zoning code. However, the zoning will allow them a small commercial portion to be uh, used with this. Uh, you'll see that one of the uh, conditions that was, well, actually the condition that was passed for this is the agricultural paint sales shall be limited to the existing building, which is approximately 5,000 square feet, and any expansions, including additions or relocations to the new building would require additional review by planning commission, essentially. So that's really the two zoning cases that we do have, and I'll be happy to answer any questions on either of the cases. Now, the, just, I remember as part of our discussion on that, there were some folks who were concerned about rezoning the entire parcel um, because of the, they were concerned about the commercial um, potential uses. So will you talk about that a little bit about why we, why we decided not to go the route of, of um, carving out a smaller section and went the route that we did on this recommendation? Well, <coughs> basically, the way it's being approved, even though the zoning would be for the entire property, the conditional use permit that they're asking for it really just applies to a certain segment right. of, of what they're wanting to do. So regardless if the property is just a small portion of it zoned or the entire thing is zoned, it really doesn't affect the use. Uh, I think there may have been some concern at the Planning Commission that this would turn into something that it was never intended. Mm -hmm. uh, this isn't going to be like a Hoover paint store or anything like that, where they're going to start selling household yeah. paints and all that. Um, so I think that was uh, part of the reason the condition on there is, is as you see it. So to so address the residents' concerns in the area, plus the other thing we talked about was is that it's very difficult administratively for you to carve out a part of a portion and yes, have it zoned differently than the remaining and that of the is, other that is parcel. Very true, yes, yeah. ma'am. And we, we do run into that even with some of the existing zonings that we have out there that have been there for some time. When you have a small portion of the property, it's commercial, and the rest of it's zoned mm -hmm. residential, and that you and know, it's still one. Yeah. Right. Our opinion is zoned at all or don't zone at all. Okay. So. There's no questions. I'll make a motion. We approve the report as presented. Is there a second? Second. Any other questions or comments? Okay. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Last, we have the building code report. Uh, Mr. Jones is not in town this week so he gave me the reports I've looked over these and I'll give you a few minutes to look over it as well there was nothing out of the ordinary on the report um, I would like to point out just because I personally love to see this on the development tax collections uh, we are at 387,750 accumulative and last year at this time we were at 255,000 so we're still on track to be above the year. That's the highest it's been in three years, isn't it? For September? Mm -hmm. Since 2008. The previous three. Yeah, that's, you worded that much better, Mayor. Thank you. That's what I was looking for. I'd like to point out, I saw a report today that Rutherford County was third in the nation for mm -hmm. job growth. Right, we saw that for the first, for this last quarter, I believe. Yeah. Okay, if 
there's I'll make a motion to present the report or to accept the report as presented. A second. Any other questions or comments? Hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Is there any other unfinished business that we need to come need to hear? Okay. If not, this meeting stands adjourned.